still sidelined by their ongoing dispute with Ticketmaster. The members of Pearl Jam ventured out of Seattle last weekend to play two benefit concerts in Washington, D.C. for the Gloria Steinem group Voters for Choice, which works to elect pro-choice politicians to office. The group was joined on the bill by Neil Young and his band Crazy Horse, singer and songwriter Lisa Germano, and L7. The shows were dedicated to Shannon Launer and Leanne Nichols, two women killed last month in the latest round of abortion clinic shootings, this time in Brookline, Massachusetts. Sidestepping Ticketmaster, Pearl Jam offered tickets by lottery, and if there was any doubt that a whole lot of people want to see Pearl Jam live again, it was dispelled by the more than 175,000 requests for tickets that came pouring in for two shows for which a total of only 7,500 seats were available. Pearl Jam held a press conference before the first concert at which singer Eddie Vedder had this to say. This is not our usual job here, is doing press conferences. Uh, usually we would just feel like playing was enough and bringing attention to the issue and addressing the uh, 3,000 people who show up tonight or whatever would be fine. Uh, but in this case, things are getting a little insane out there, and we thought that uh, maybe it would be productive to have some kind of press conference or bring a little extra attention to it. They're good men with good hearts, and they fight for your right to reproductive freedom just as they fight for your right not to be ripped off by Ticketmaster. I probably wouldn't be so public with this if, if I didn't feel like I knew almost every angle of this, this issue. I know the adoption angle. I know, I know what it's like to be 15 and be in the situation to make a decision, have to make a decision. I mean, terminating a pregnancy is not an easy thing. No one is pro-abortion, no one. The, I, the, the, the question only is who makes that decision. We would all here go to the same lengths to keep anyone from being forced to have an abortion, didn't wish to have one, as we would to make sure that it's a, a safe alternative. This is a waste of time for us. We, we hate this. We, we, We'd rather be doing, you know, rock for feeding people or, you know, voters for, for curing AIDS. You know, this is a waste of time. This is something that should have been resolved 20 years ago. The act of love was so While the concert had its stated purpose in raising $100,000 for Voters for Choice, it wasn't necessarily clear where the crowd stood on the issue of abortion. The people we found were just desperate to see Pearl Jam. I've been waiting a long time to see these guys. They never get around. I'm mostly here just to see Pearl Jam. I'm not for abortion, though. As for the level of enthusiasm people have here, they're here to see Pearl Jam or whatever, and that's fine with me. Pearl Jam's raising money for Voters for Choice. I think it's a good cause, and I'm very happy about that. I got a letter from a woman recently that said, you know, until you have a uterus, I wish you would keep your mouth shut on this issue. If I agreed with that woman and said, okay, and until I have a uterus, I surrender, I'll, I'll stay out of this, uh, and everybody, all the men agreed with that, then we wouldn't have an issue because uh, the people heading this uh, kind of radical right, uh, we're talking about like middle-aged, upper-class white men. So uh, if they get out of it, I'll get out of it. No problem. By the way, that was Mud Honey drummer Dan Peters sitting in there with L7, which still is an all-female band. Drummer Dee Placas is recovering from surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome, a wrist affliction. She expects to be back in action in about a month. Pearl Jam leaves for a tour of Asia next month, but the band says it will find a way to tour the States this summer somehow, maybe distributing tickets by lottery again.